So for Christmas, we were on a budget, so my wife and I just got each other stockings. And one of the things um, I asked for my stockings was a knife blank from this company, Track the Wolf, Inc. Um, it's a uh, really cool company. provides a lot of long hunter gear, knives, tomahawks, uh, black powder rifle parts, and they sell knife blanks here, so you can make your own knives. So let me show you the one I picked. I love American knives, companies with history, and thin knives and carbon steel blade knives. So I chose a um, Dexter Russell Green River Works, made in the USA, number 4215. And I found a couple pieces of maple at work, and I put this thing together by hand. Bought a couple of the brass rivets. I didn't have the right drill bit, so I kind of hacked my way through this. I've never done it before. Didn't have a belt sander. I sanded it by hand. I literally used my uh, an X-Acto knife and my buck 55 to whittle the handle. But this is the knife I chose. Really cool. I like that it's thin. I like that it's a 5-inch blade. I'm all about uh, Dave Canterbury's 5-inch blade uh, rule for a um, bushcraft knife. And um, where is it here? The price was like... Oh, these are all the parts that they can sell you um, for this knife if you want. So whenever you click on a, a knife, they'll sell you like a sheath kit or rivets, or things that would go with that knife, which is really helpful. And, um, oh, here it is, $12.99 for the knife. So 13 bucks, and it's a good knife. So stay with me, and I'll show you what I was doing. And I'm going to give a quick bio of the company as well. Henry Harrington, a New England craftsman and inventor, established the first cutlery company in the United States on June 18th of 1818 in Southbridge, Massachusetts. Harrington manufactured surgical equipment and shoe knives as well as crafted firearms. As his cutlery line expanded, he gradually discontinued his firearms business. In 1884, Harrington introduced the Dexter trade name. The Dexter line of fine kitchen and table cutlery soon gained a reputation for quality in America's homes and restaurants. Another New Englander, John Russell, founded his Green River Works on March 1, 1834. After having made his fortune in the cotton industry, Russell, at age 37, turned his energies to the manufacturing of quality cutlery. He built his water-powered factory on the banks of the Green River near Greenfield, Massachusetts. His first products, chisels and axe heads, were made from fine English steel of the type normally reserved for tableware. As the Green River Works expanded its line to include knives, the company continued to use only the finest materials. These skilled craftsmen were able to produce large quantities of high-quality hunting knives to supply the needs of America's western frontier. In 1933, the Harrington Cutlery Company and the John Russell Cutlery Company merged, bringing together the two most respected names in cutlery, Dexter and Russell. So that's a brief history of the company. I'm happy to note that they're in, they started and are still here in my home state of Massachusetts. And it's kind of cool how the tradition goes all the way back to the 1800s. So these guys were supplying knives for long hunters and frontiers, wagon trains, as well as people today who are bushcrafting. Thing. It wasn't great. First time doing it. I didn't have the right drill bits for, for um, the brass rivets. Um, but made some definite mistakes, but I did it all by hand. I made the end wood slightly longer than the tang, just because I have big hands. It's a really nice knife, really nice blade. And again, it was like 14 bucks. Made in America, carbon steel. So, thanks for watching.